This is Keith Helwig, and I'd like to talk today about the image of correctional officers and what we can do to enhance the image of correctional officers. Now, I've been retired from corrections for about a year and a half now, but after working in it for 36 years and devoting most of my life to the profession, I like to see the profession represented in a fair and equitable manner. Uh, myself, along with people such as Anthony Ganji, Gary York, Russ Hamilton, have pretty much made it our focus to enhance the image of corrections as a profession and as a part of law enforcement. Today I was at a local store shopping and I saw a correctional officer that was shopping in uniform. Now they probably stopped after work and just to pick up a few things. I've got to say this officer did absolutely nothing to enhance the image of a correctional officer. Uh, their uniform pants had more wrinkles than an old elephant's ass. Uh, they were extremely overweight, not that I should cast stone because I'm certainly no picture of fitness. And just the way that they were conducting themselves and talking to themselves, to others I should say, uh, would lead people to believe that they are indicative of correctional officers as a whole. They're not. If you're going to be out in public in your uniform, present a professional image to the public. If you ask the public what they think of correctional officers, most of them are going to mention movies, uh, television. They're going to mention prison break. They're going to mention Orange is the New Black. That's the perception that the public has of us as correctional officers. We all know that that's not the truth. But we also know that there are some officers that that is pretty truthful to the way they act. The vast majority, 99.9%, act in a professional manner every day. We are a part of law enforcement. Now a lot of correctional officers don't want to admit that, but we are a part of law enforcement. Now I've worked as a street cop as well for the past 23 years. In Wisconsin, I guess we're pretty lucky because even though we're not considered police officers, we're looked upon pretty favorably by the majority of police officers. Uh, we do have a good working relationship. Uh, when I commanded a sniper team, I know that I did training with three other area local police departments that had sniper teams. Uh, they helped us, we helped them, things of that nature. You need to get involved in your community if you're a correctional officer. If you have a, a charitable event you know, that law enforcement is sponsoring, become a part of that. If you have a community event, that local law enforcement is supporting. Become a part of that. Uh, there, there's just a lot of things we can do to enhance our image. One of them is to look sharp, act professionally, and to portray a good positive image of correctional officers whenever you go out in public. The public is watching you, particularly if you're in uniform. And even if you're not in uniform and a person knows that you're a correctional officer, they're going to judge officers by the way you act off-duty, whether you realize it or not, whether you want to admit it or not. The image you portray of yourself as an individual outside of work reflects on the way people perceive your profession at work. I'd like to see the correctional officer profession raised to the same level as other law enforcement agencies. We can only do that by making our voices heard. I urge each and every one of you to make your voices heard. New Jersey recently changed the name of their correctional officers to correctional police officers. That's a positive step. That's a positive step for everybody in the state of New Jersey. That's a positive step and maybe the starting point for the rest of the nation to be recognized as the professionals that they truly are. Thank you. Stay safe. Watch your back. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.